The previous example considered finding the expected value of x, the expected value of x squared, and the expected value of x cubed for a continuous random variable x. This time we're going to switch to a discrete distribution and calculate those same three quantities. So use the moment generating function, and MGF is a common abbreviation for moment generating function, to find e of x, e of x squared, and e of x cubed for the discrete random variable x with probability mass function. Again, PMF is a common abbreviation for probability mass function. And here it is. f of x is equal to 0.7 for x equals 1. It is 0.2 for x equals 2. And it is 0.1 for x equals 3. In this particular case, the moment generating function is and from the definition of the moment generating function, it is the expected value of e to the t times x. Notice that's a lowercase t and an uppercase x. And since you have a discrete distribution, you will take the summation over the support of e to the tx multiplied by the probability mass function f of x. So this will be f of 1 multiplied by e to the 1 times t plus f of 2 multiplied by e to the 2 times t plus f of 3 multiplied by e to the 3 times t. Now this is a lot easier than the previous example in terms of the range of t. This expression here is good for all t from minus infinity to infinity. You don't have to worry about integrals uh, converging or anything of that nature. So when you take the first three derivatives of this moment generating function, when you differentiate this expression with respect to t, you get m prime of t. When you differentiate again with respect to t, you get m double prime of t. And when you differentiate a third time with respect to t, you get m triple prime of t. When you plug in t equals 0 into m prime of t, m prime of 0 turns out to be 1.4, and that's the expected value of x by the theorem. When you take m double prime of 0, you will get 2.4, and that is the expected value of x squared by the theorem. And when you take m triple prime of 0, that will be 5, and that is the expected value of x cubed by the theorem. Now if you want to calculate these values in Apple, you can do the following. The first way is going to use moment generating functions. And the first thing you do is you assign x to the, dis the discrete distribution. In this case, the, the mass values are 0 0.7, 0 0.2, and 0 0.1. The support values are 1, 2, and 3. This string tells you you are dealing with a discrete random variable. And even though this string is PDF, it really means that the probability mass function values are given in this first list. So at that point, what you do is you substitute t equals 0 into the first derivative of the moment generating function. And that will give you the expected value of x, which was 1.4. When you substitute t equals 0 into the second derivative of the moment generating function, that will give you 2.4 as the expected value of x squared. And when you plug t equals 0 into the third derivative of the moment generating function, that will give you 5, which is the expected value of x cubed. You could have also written this in Apple in the following fashion. x gets defined in exactly the same way as up here. But instead of calculating a moment generating function, you can use the expected value function. And when you use it and find the expected value of x, you will get 1.4. When you find the expected value of x squared, you will get 2.4. And when you find the expected value of x cubed, you will get five.